Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Katia? I was very tired today, teacher. Oh, you had a tired one? What did you do today? I went to my work in the mm -hmm. in the morning, but in the afternoon I sleep a little. Oh, okay, you had some time to sleep. That's nice. And but vacation is coming, right? Are you also uh, going on vacation tomorrow? Yes, right. Yes, my work. Okay. Very good. That is really exciting. <laughs> Let's see, Reina Acosta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Reina? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Great. How was your day? <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> In general, uh, very good, but, but, but no sé, califique mucho, muchos cuadernos. Oh, okay. Hasta la espalda me duele. Oh, no. You had to do a lot of checking. Okay, yeah, that is so hard. <laughs> yes. But did you finish? Yes. Okay, that is good. Great. And you're also starting vacation tomorrow. Mm, no. You're not? Uh, oh. No, no, no. You keep working, okay. Yes. All right. Let's see, Madeline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And how was your day? Um, was a quiet day. Everything is fine. Um, okay. I'm so sorry for not connecting yesterday, but my wife is way down, so I really sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, have you finished the work in the platform, Madeline? I can... Yes, the last week. You're done, right? Okay. All right, so we're good. Don't worry. Let me see, Marta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great, how was your day? My day was relaxed. Oh, okay, nice. Did you have a free day today? Yes, um, my, this day is a break. Okay, sounds nice. What did you do on your free day? I I go no I went when? to buy mm -hmm. the Pizza Hut. Oh, nice! You went to get for my food. family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's great. And apart from that, what else did you do? Just resting. Watching TV or what? Yes, I resting. I watch the movie. A movie. Oh, okay. Hotel Transylvania 2. Oh, all right. Sounds nice. Okay. Yes. Very well, Martha. Thanks. Evie, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. And you? Mm, good. I'm well, thanks. And how about your day? How was it? Um, the same as always. Uh, today is the one day. One day. Uh, um, the lunes a viernes. From Monday to Friday? To, uh -huh, to Monday to Friday. Oh, so you follow the same routine all week, all week long. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, let me see. Roxana, good evening. How are you today? 
I have a good day at work. Oh, okay. All right. I, I eat very full. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that, Roxana? I prepare a uh, informed. Oh, reports. You prepare yeah. some reports at work. Okay, so you must be tired. What? You must be tired. Debe estar cansada, right? Mm, so, so. So, so? Okay. When, yes, when, uh, when to when uh, at home, um, mm -hmm. um, when when to room, uh, thirty minutes. Okay. All right. Very well, Roxana. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. A busy one, but good one, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Busy. But good. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so we may start now. Um, let's see, in today's class, which is our last class of the course, we are going to start by reviewing the, the exercises that we were doing yesterday. So let's remember that yesterday we started working or, well, we were working on the present continuous, right? So we were practicing some ING forms and how to use this tense. Let's start by solving exercise one together. In this exercise, we had to write the corresponding ING forms. So let's do it. We got the first verb, sing. What is the ING form? Singing, okay. Then we have swim. What's the ING swim. form? Swimming. 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 What's special about swimming? W-M. Yes, you double the last consonant, which is M. So it is spelled this way, double M. Then we got dance. What's the ING form? Dancing. 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 And uh, what's a special about dancing is that we remove the E and we add ING instead. Then we have the verb get. What's the, the ING form? Getting. Getting. And how do you spell it? G. Mm -hmm. E. T. E. E. N. G. Okay, very well. So you get double T before the ING. Then the same happens in the case of cut. We get cutting with double T. Sleep. What's the ING form? Sleeping. So we get this, right? We just add ING. What's the one for draw? Drawing. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we have do. What's the ING form for do? Doing. 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 The one for smoke. What's the ING form for smoke? Smoking. Smoking. So here we remove the E and instead we add ING. The same happens in the case of close, which becomes closing. Then we have practice. It follows the same rule. We get practicing. Then we have skate. What's the ING form for skate? Skating. Skating. The one for ride? Riding. Riding. The one for ask? Asking. Asking. Then we have climb. 
Climbing. 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 And the last one is enjoy. It becomes enjoying. Enjoying. And here, remember that we add ing. So we get y and then the ing, right? And uh, just to mention, we also have the same case for the verb study. So we go from study to studying. So it takes y and then the ing. So it doesn't matter if the both of the sounds are similar. We just spell it with both letters, y and i. Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat. Sing, singing. Sing, singing. Swim, swimming. Swim, swimming. Dance, dancing. Dance, dancing. Get, getting. Get, get, getting. Cut, cutting. Cut, cutting. Sleep, sleeping. Cut, cut. Sleep, sleeping. Sleeping. Draw, drawing. Draw, drawing. Do, doing. Do, do, doing. Smoke, smoking. Smoke, smoking. smoking. Close, closing. Close, closing. Practice, practicing. Practice, practicing. Skate, skating. Skate, skating. Write, writing. Write, writing. Ask, asking. Ask, asking. Climb, climbing. Climb, climbing. Enjoy, enjoying. Enjoy, enjoy. Study, studying. Study, studying. Okay, there we go. That is what we have for the ing forms of the verbs. Now, in exercise number two, we had to make some sentences in the present continuous. So let's keep on practicing them. We got number one, what's the sentence? Okay, it's I'm washing the dishes. Very well, I'm washing the dishes. Number two, um, Katia? We are doing the homework. Thank you. We are doing the homework. Okay, next, Reina Acosta. She is talking on the phone. She is talking on the phone. Okay, Marta. Can you continue with number four? You are writing a poem. You are writing a poem. Well, next one, let me see, Ibis. He is playing basketball. He is playing basketball. Number six, Roxana. They are the ex doing exercise. They are doing exercise. Thanks. Number seven, Madeline. It is eating its food. It is eating its food. Number eight, Manuel Alejandro. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. Thank you, Manuel. 
Number nine, let me see who's going to help me with that. Sandra Yasmin. It is raining. It is raining. Okay, and the last one, what is it? We are traveling to New York. We are traveling to New York. New York. There we go. So we have, I'm washing the dishes. We are doing the homework. She is talking on the phone. You are writing a poem. He is playing basketball. They are doing exercise. It is eating its food. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. It is raining. And we are traveling to New York. Now everybody repeat please, fruits. Fruit. Fruits. 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 Vegetables. 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 Traveling. 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 Raining. Raining. Eating. 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 Doing. 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 Grinding. 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 Poem. Poem. Talking. 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 Doing. Doing. Washing. Washing. Okay, let's continue by checking exercise three. Here we had to unscramble some sentences. So let's see, number one, what was it? I am working. Today. I am, I am, well, I am yeah. well, no. It is I am negative. Not, so we say, I, I am, am not, not working, working today. today. Okay, number two. What is it? Is that, is not no. Yeah. Uh, girl? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Wearing glasses. Wearing sunglasses. Number three. What is it? They are not eating. They are not eating soup. Okay, number four. Susan is not going Sun is not going home. Number five. It is not, it is not, not raining now. now. It is not raining now. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, we don't. The cat is not biting. Okay, so we start with the cat or the dog? Mm. Dog. Is it dog? It dog, dog. Right? Yes, we say dog the dog is not, not, not barking. barking the cat. The dog is at not barking the at the cat. At the cat. Okay, number seven. We are not taking photos. We are not taking photos. Number eight. Joe is not playing, playing, piano. playing piano, the piano. Joe is not playing the piano. Number nine. The children are not swimming in the pool. The children are not swimming in the pool. <clears throat> and the last one? The girls are not. not. Playing. Cats are not playing. With gold. 
with the wool. With the wool. Okay, so we got, I am not working today. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. They are not eating soup. Susan is not going home. It is not raining now. The dog is not barking at the cats. We are not taking photos. Joe is not playing the piano. The children are not swimming. The cats are not playing with the wool. In Teacher, exercise, tell me. What is the meaning of wool? Wool, lana. Ah, okay. Okay, in exercise four, we had to make some sentences in all the forms, right? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So we got number one, the dolphin play in the sea. What do we say? The dolphin? Play. It's play. Dolphin is playing. Playing in the sea. In the sea. sea. Okay, now make it negative, please. The dolphin isn't playing. Playing in the sea. The dolphin isn't playing in the sea or is not playing in the sea. And the question Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Okay, very well. Now let's continue with number two. Ibis, can you make it please? Uh, sería Tom is cooking spaghetti. Mm -hmm. y... Negative? Tom is not. It's not going as bad. Mm -hmm. And the question, Ibis? Is Tom cooking spaghetti? Okay, excellent, thanks. Let's see, Rene, number three. <clears throat> they listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they not listen, listen to the radio. And the question? Uh, <clears throat> Are they listening? Okay, very good, Rene. So we say they are listening to the radio, they are not listening to the radio, and are they listening to the radio? Number four, Manuel Alejandro. She is wearing blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Negative. She, she is not wearing blue jeans. And the question? Is she wearing blue jeans? Okay, very well, thanks. Sandra Jasmine, you go with number four. The kids eat boiling ice cream. Uh, sorry, can you repeat it, please? The kids eat boiling ice cream. Oh, the kids are buying uh, ice cream. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The kids are buying ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids are. Perdón, the kids. The kids aren't buying ice cream. Mm -hmm. And are the kids buying ice cream very good there we go number six madeline i am driving my father's car i am not driving my father's car um i driving my father's car okay excellent madeline thanks marta number seven The mason is build, building a house. Mm -hmm. Negative. The mason is not building a house. And the question? Is the mason building a house? Okay, excellent. Roberto Sarceño, number eight. 
Jack is finished finish it in the fishing. river mm -hmm. fishing. Yes. Jack is fishing in the river. Mm -hmm. Jack Jack is in fish fishing in the river. Mm -hmm. Is Jack fishing in the river? Okay. Excellent, Roberto. Thanks. And how about Roberto Carlos, number nine? And my mom is cleaning the window. Mm -hmm. And my mom is not cleaning the window. Okay. Is my mom cleaning the window? Very well, thanks. And Katia, the last one, please. Your microphone. Can you check it, please? I'm sorry. It's the okay. sun is shining. Uh -huh. The sun is not shining. Is the sun shining? Okay, great. You got it. Um, now let's continue with the WH questions in the present continuous. So in order to make WH questions, we use a structure that is very similar to the yes, no questions structure, except that we add a WH question word at the beginning and we get this structure. We got the WH word. It could be what, where, when, why, or just whatever question word we want to use. Then the verb be, um, is or are, and after that, we add a subject, then the verb in ing and the complement. Here we have some examples. What are you doing? What are you doing? So as you see, we use the WH word, what, verb be are, subject you, and then the verb in ing. Then we have, where are you going? Who are you inviting to the party? And when are you arriving? Those are some examples. Let's repeat them. Everybody, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Who are you inviting to the party? Who are you inviting to the party? When are you arriving? When are you arriving? Okay, and then our next activity is based on a conversation. So let me start by asking you a question. Let's see, Katya, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two sisters. You got two sisters, okay. Katya, can you ask the same question to one of your classmates, please? Marta Elizabeth. How many brothers and sisters do you did the same question? Yes. How many oh. brothers and sisters do you have, Marta Elizabeth? Okay, I have two sisters too. Oh, nice. And I got two sisters too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so Marta, you ask another person, please. Okay, let me see. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Leon Lopez? Um, I have three brothers and one sister. Okay, very well. Leon, can you ask another person, please? Me? Yep. Uh, Rene? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, I have uh, two brothers, only, only two brothers. Only two brothers. Okay, Rene, ask another classmate, please. Uh, Roxana Maya, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have um, one brother, only brothers, and two sisters. Uh, okay. His name Daisy and Tina. All right, nice, Roxana. Continue asking, please. Roxana, okay. 
how many brothers and sisters do you have? It's me, no? <laughs> Sandra dijo. Yes, Sandra. Yeah, ah, okay, okay. I have three brothers. Three brothers. You're the only girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that? Uh -oh. No. <laughs> okay. okay, continue asking, um, please. <laughs> how many brothers and sisters do you have, Edith? I have one brother and one sister. Okay, Ibis, go ahead and ask. Okay. Um, Alejandro, how many how many brothers do you have? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother. Only one brother. All right. Yes. Continue asking, please. Mm -hmm. Um. Who? Yeah, you can ask Roberto Sarceño. Okay. Uh, Roberto, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have four brothers and one sister. Oh, you've got a big family, Roberto. Yes, a <laughs> big family. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay, Roberto, you can ask Maritza de Villalta. Okay, Marisa, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers. Two brothers, okay. Hey, Marisa, you ask Roberto Carlos. Um, Roberto Carlos, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, I have I have three brothers. Three brothers. Three brothers. Okay. Very well. And let's see. I think almost everybody has participated. How about Madeline? Have you participated? Yes. You have. And Marta too, right? Okay. I I can to Marta. Um, have you participated? Ya había participado, Madeline. Me, teacher. Um, yes. No. Oh, no. Okay. So then. No. Okay. Then, Roberto, can you ask Madeline, please? Madeline. Yeah. Uh, Madeline, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister. Only. Only one sister. Okay. Very well. Is anybody missing? No? Okay. So let's listen to the conversation. Um, let me go to the platform. We are going to play the video. And we're listening to the conversation. Then we are going to practice it. So everybody pay attention. Birthday presents. How many? Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Milly and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Milly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I did know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Me, teacher. Maritza Hi, teacher. And Roberto. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
No. How many oh. brothers and sisters do you have, Mary? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China have only one child. No what they. I didn't know that. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa. Is them typical in Peru? Not really. I lot of family are smaller. They stay, but big family are great because you get good. Okay. Very well. Thanks for reading, Roberto and and Maritza. Let's see who's next. Do I have any other volunteers? Me teacher. Katia. Me teacher. And Reina Costa. Okay. So Kathy, you may start. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly. Actually, and um. Only two. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one children. No way. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I'm from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller because oh, the families are great because you get a lot of person. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. And now let's repeat, please. Brothers. 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 Sisters. 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 Actually. Actually. Child. 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 Only child. Only child. child. China. China. Nowadays. Nowadays. Let me see what else. Typical. 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 Peru. Peru. Smaller. 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 Family. Families. Birthday. Birthday. Presents. Presents. Okay, very well. Now let's continue by uh, listening to the explanation about um, quantifiers. So in this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. Let's see. We got this video, we are going to watch it and then we are going to explain it and make some examples and practice. More than one child. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. 
Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about Okay, so we got the quantifiers which are used to indicate a, some estimated percentage. So in case we do not have a real number, we just uh, maybe supposing, we can use any of the quantifiers, right? To, to indicate the estimated percentage. And, and then we got all, which is todos, nearly all, casi todos, most, la mayoría, Many, muchos, a lot of, muchos, so many and a lot of are uh, synonyms. Then we got some, algunos, not many, no muchos, a few and few would mean uh, pocos, and no one, ninguno, right? So those are the quantifiers that we got. And remember that we use the quantifiers and then we use a plural noun as mentioned in the video, right? We say all families, most families, not many couples, few couples, and so on. And then we have no one, which is different. This one doesn't take any nouns, it takes a verb. So let's try to make some other examples using the quantifiers. We can say, for instance, nearly all Europeans learn a second language. Nearly all Europeans learn a second language. Let's try to make another one. Let's use um, some kids are going to school next month. Some kids are going to school next month. And uh, let's see, let me think about another one. Let's see a few people. Uh, a few people are, uh, let's say, a few people are going out on holidays. And there we go. As you see, we use the quantifiers, nearly all, some, and a few. Then we use the, the nouns, Europeans, kids, and people. And then we just add the information we are talking about. And then in the case of no one, we do not use a noun, we use a verb. No one gets married. And let's see, let's make another example. It would be, no one wants to stay here. No one wants to stay here. So you see, we use no one, and then we add a verb, once. And also another important thing is that we use no one with a singular verb. So it would be like third person verb all the time. And tell me. None is saying no one. None. Can you repeat it, please? None. N O N E. None is saying oh. no one. Um, well, in some sense, we could say they are similar, but they are used in different situations. So no one would be more like nadie and none like ninguno. So they are 
I mean, at the end, they refer to the same thing, but they are used in different situations, different uh, contexts. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get some time to practice the use of the quantifiers. And let me send you to the breakout rooms. So you make some example sentences using the quantifiers. Let's try to focus on El Salvador. So what can you say about Salvadoran people or Salvadoran situation? Like all Salvadorans love pupusas, for instance, you can say that. And think about different things. Think about Salvadoran people, Salvadoran kids. Uh, you can talk about schools. Um, I mean, just general things about Salvadorans. Let me send you to the breakout rooms. And we're having some minutes to practice this. Then we come back and we check. Here we go. Hi, I just sent the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, si puede alguien compartirlo, si no. Um, yo, yo lo voy a compartir ahorita. Bueno, gracias. <laughs> Teacher, Hi. Eh, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Si no me han enviado eh, la información para llenar el, form el formulario, la puedo enviar yo, aunque no me hayan enviado el, el WhatsApp o el correo. Sí, envíenla. Yo creo que no hay problema. Igual puede consultar el día de mañana con Elena Méndez o con Jonathan o Jason. Les podrían dar la ah. información, pero creo que sí. Igual si ya tienen los documentos, debería enviarlos. A ver qué le responden. Ok, gracias. Ok. ¿Quién inicia? Eh, la, eh, la primera se usa, eh, no sé si okay, la primera. almost I owe as like to keep sal. Casi todos nos gusta comer sal. No sé si está bien esto. Eh, almost I, almost I owe as like to keep sal. Okay, almost all of us like to eat salt. All right. Yes. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Solo la escribimos para que no se nos olvide, pero. The 
segunda uh -huh. podría ser nearly all have Facebook in this country. What is nearly all? Nearly all, casi todo. Casi todo. Ah, casi todo. And the most of Salvadorian like horchata. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> y la otra sería many. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is it? You think many kids have a computer? Mm -hmm. Great. Many kids. A lot of people. Um, go to the mall in the weekend on the weekend okay and some um some people don't like Hawaiian pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. no, no money. Sería la siguiente, ¿verdad? Sí. No money. No money. Sería... Oh, not many like oh. not many of acts like to read. Mm -hmm. No mucho nos gusta leer. Not many people like to read, or not um, many of us like to read. Uh, not many. Mm -hmm. Not many. Not many of acts like to read. Read. Perdón. Read. Read. Yes. Exercise. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you have any questions? We are thinking. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat it? Many, muchos, yes. A lot of? A lot of? It's the same as many. No, it would be the same, muchos. A um teacher exercise uh, of uh, the ejercicio is similar exercise of in mathematics Mark. yes yes they are both called exercise okay. yeah so it could be a math exercise or it could be just doing exercise for instance at the gym or something okay mm -hmm. Eh, a lot of eh, like events. Salvadorians. A lot of Salvadorians like are bailarines. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a lot of yes, they like to dance. 
Ok. Ahora con with some. Some, <coughs> some children <coughs> don't go to the school. Some children. Not many. Not many. Not many. Chico Roberto. Not many speak three, three languages. Not many people speak uh, three languages. Uh, languages. Yes. Languages. That's a good example. Yes, languages. Languages. A few. A few Salvadoran, Salvadoran speak English, <laughs> speak French. Mm. Uh, Chinese, Chinese is difficult. Chinese. Few people speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Very few. <laughs> no one? No one. No one teacher wants to come back to this school. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. No one wants to come back to school. Mm -hmm. That's a good example. No one, uh, no one uh, uh, dry a uh, creo um. a nadie o a ninguno le gustan las cinco. Sí, sí. Quince, veinte. No podría ser. Dice. ¿Cómo se podría decir que, uh, o sea, usando el, el no one? ¿Cómo se podría decir que a nadie o a ninguno no le gustan las pupusas? Porque a todos nos gustan las pupusas. Oh, ok. Bueno, um, well, it would be kind of hard to say it in un yes. Ajá, ajá. Sí, porque en realidad no podemos tener un nombre negativo en inglés, entonces, um, yeah. Um, in that case, we, we would better use a verb like no one dislikes ah, maybe bueno, that eh. way <laughs> si lo dijo bien la compañera <laughs> so you're done si sí, solo estábamos discutiendo oh, okay. <laughs> todos nuestros temas fueron de la pupusa <laughs> ok really. so tell me some of your examples Vaya. All Salvadorian people like it or eating pupusas. What else? Do you have any other examples? Most Salvadorians work every day. Most Salvadorians work every day. Very well. Any other? Lot of Salvadorians go to the beach on vacation. Okay, nice. Okay, so we're coming back to the main room. See you there. Okay.
Okay, some people are still in the breakout rooms. Let me see. Yep. All right, so uh, let me tell you that will be all for the pre-intermediate one course. So congratulations everybody for making it uh, to the end. And uh, it was really nice to meet you. It was nice to work with you. It was a pleasure. So thanks everyone for participating in these classes. I hope you continue learning English, keep practicing. You're very great students. Take care, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Pleasure. Good night, everyone. And have a nice vacation. Thank you. Thank you.